Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today we're going to be doing our tool skirt tutorial. I have been posting about this all over my social media and these are the items that we're going to need and of course we're going to need some black tool or you can get vibrant colors like I seen Khalees wear pink. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half because we want this to be as thick as possible but not, um, you know, just have less work of us doing the layering. So if you fold in half, that's two layers in one. What I'm doing here is I'm doing the pleating detail and all you have to do is fold it over um, in kind of like a zigzag, you know, like a pleated skirt. So you're just going over and under over and under um, almost like you're folding a fan remember we used to fold fans when we were little so that's what we're gonna do and I just fold a few layers and then we're gonna start pinning it with um, you know some stick pins and I figured out that the first layer that you're pinning that should be the first layer of the skirt and this eliminates you having to do this tedious task multiple times because every layer underneath of this first layer wrapped around to give the skirt fullness. The first layer is what's most important to have the pleated detail. Now you can see that I started this process on a pre-made skirt. I just found a pencil skirt in my closet and here I'm making sure that I do not sew over top of the zipper. So I stop at one side of the zipper and then I'll start again on the other side just so it'll be easier to put on. We are now ready to start sewing the tool onto the skirt and everyone should know how to thread a needle. If not, I like to lick the needle first and then stick the string through the hole because it is like so hard sometimes to do this. I found that this process was easier for me because of the um, dress form that I have. It's not really a dress form, it's really just decor for my closet that my sister-in-law gave me. But I find that it was easy to use because of the wire detail. I'm able to like put my hand through to grab the needle and back out. So I like doing it like this. If you don't have one of these, you're going to have to do it just, you know, on your desk um, freehand. Now this is the part I was talking about previously. Now that we have the perfect pleats, um, pleated detail on the first layer, now I'm going underneath and I'm just doing bigger layers and some of the times I'm just wrapping it around just for the fullness of the skirt. You may want to do this part first and then do the first layer, but this is how mine worked out because this is the first time I've ever made this skirt. Again, this is me taking advantage of using the wire detail of this dress form. I'm able to pull the first layer up and kind of like put it through the wires. And then I'm able to, you know, go in and out of the wires to um, feed the needle through the skirt. Um, so I'm just going to finish this out and then we're going to pull the first layer down so you can see how beautiful this skirt turned out. Hey Skylar, look at her. She's always with mommy. Whether you guys know it or not, she's always by my side and she's the best baby ever <laughs> for allowing me to record such videos. Um, but yes, here we're all done. Notice how beautiful the pleats look. Don't they look so cute? Um, and this dress is actually really long. So I did cut this to make it shorter off camera. Um, but yeah, I love it. And 
And if you do not have a skirt already made like I did, you can start this from scratch. If, um, as I showed you in the beginning of the video, I used, I mean, I had elastic ready. Um, so you could just use elastic as your waistband and sew your tool onto the waistband. Um, or you can just use your own skirt. I think that makes the most sense because tool can be a bit see-through. So using a skirt will eliminate adding so many layers because the layers basically are to camouflage, you know, that see-through, um, you know, effect. So if you already have a skirt under it, it just works wonders. Now I'm just going to show you how I, um, I attach the ends near the zipper part of the skirt. Again, I didn't want to sew over top of the zipper, so I stopped the tool right at the zipper on both sides. So we're just going to hand sew that down, like really close to the zipper, um, just so it can, you know, really blend in so you can't tell that the tool stopped. You know what I mean? We're almost done, curls. So I hope that you learned a few tips and tricks on creating your own tool skirt. And have fun with it. Make them shorter. Make a peplum um, tool skirt. Or make a floor length one like Khalees. Make it hot pink, lime green, whatever color you want to use, do it and just own it. This is such a fun, fun, fun um, tutorial and project. So I hope you guys try it and let me know if you have any questions. Alright curls, I love you. Bye.